Hi everyone, today we're going to be installing Nginx on Ubuntu 14.0. We're going to be starting with the same installation we had in the last two videos where I showed you how to install Ubuntu Server and also how to set up a teaming between NIC interfaces. First we'll start off by installing Nginx, but before we can install Nginx, let's update our apt-get repositories. So let's run sudo apt-get update. Now that our package list has been updated, we can install Nginx. Let's run sudo apt-get install Nginx. Now that we have Nginx installed, let's go ahead and check what our IP address is and network configuration is uh, by running if config minus a. As we can see here, we have the bond zero, eth zero, eth one, and that's our teaming set of NIC cards. And we're running on IP address 192.168.199.122. So to test our web page, we're going to want to point our browser to 192.168.199.128. This should render the default Nginx web page for us. So plugging that into our browser now, we get the web page Welcome to Nginx. Now that we have the default web page, we can go ahead and start customizing it a little bit just to play around. So let's change directory to user share nginx. So entering in cd slash user slash share slash nginx will get us there. ls minus la to list the directory and then change directory to html. In this directory we have 50x.html and index.html. Index.html is the file that we want to edit first and that will allow us to render new changes through the web server instantly. So let's start by going sudo vi index.html. This will open up index.html in our text editor vim. So for starters, let's go ahead and change the welcome header, which says welcome to nginx to welcome to my nginx. Really simple change. We'll then save the file and re-render the page. As you can see now, the page now says welcome to my nginx. That's fun, but we don't really want to edit the default Nginx web page. We really want to be able to create our own and possibly host multiple web pages or websites on our own. To create our own website, let's first start by creating a directory structure for it to reside in. Let's create it in var www my site. Oops, sudo make directory www. Now let's create a index.html for our web server to serve up when we go to our URL. sudo vi index.html. Let's throw some simple HTML in here. A few HTML opening and closing tags. Title, my awesome site. End title. Body close body tag, close HTML, we'll just put a couple of lines in here, paragraph, close paragraph, all my fun stuff. Cool. All right, escape, right quit. Now that we have the web pages for our website set up inside a directory structure, we now need to tell Nginx that it's there and to configure it to serve those uh, web pages as a website. Let's head over to slash etc slash Nginx and then into sites available. 
and as you can see here we have one configuration file called default and as you can guess it's the default configuration for nginx so let's modify this default configuration to serve the website that we created under slash var slash www slash my site you'll notice that under root the slash user slash share slash nginx slash html is the same directory path as we modified initially for the default site. So that's the only thing we really need to change in this file to have it start serving the other one we created. Escape, right, quit. And now let's restart the nginx server by going sudo service nginx restart. We don't normally need to restart nginx every time we make a change to the web page, but since we're making a change to the configuration file, we should really restart the web server in general. And as you can see, when we refresh the URL that used to have welcome to my nginx, now we get our new web page that we created. And we can edit this web page just like we did with the default configuration and refresh it in the browser after it's saved and get the updates instantly. So let's add a line. I can edit this file and the server will automatically reload the most current version. Escape right quit to save and let's go ahead and reload it in our browser. We can continue to make as many edits as we want to the web pages. We can even edit multiple web pages at the same time and the server will always serve the most recent version or, or the current version. So that's fun that we can create one website with Nginx but it would be a real big pain in the butt if we had to create a new Ubuntu server and Nginx instance every time we wanted to serve another website. So Nginx can actually support multiple websites from the same Nginx instance, and it's really easy. All we need to do is add another configuration and tell it where the website files are. Let's head over back to slash etc slash Nginx slash sites available and we'll copy over the default configuration into a new file. We will need to edit this configuration file and make this Nginx configuration different from the other so it doesn't interfere. We'll first start off by changing the port number it's listening on from 80 to 8080. And this is because we can't have two instances listening on the same port. So for us to access this particular instance, we're gonna have to tell the web browser to go to 8080 instead of the default 80. We'll also need to change the directory in which the website web pages are in. And we can give it a name of something like var www, another site is cool. Let's also remove the server name line out of here so Nginx doesn't get confused with who is the local host. Escape right quit. And now the last thing we need to do is create a symbolic link from the directory sites enabled to our configuration file in sites available. To create a symbolic link, we'll go ahead and do sudo ln minus s, and then it's the file name that you're linking to, and then the name of the link. So in our case, we're gonna do sudo ln minus s dot dot to go up a directory slash sites available slash another website, which is our configuration file, and then space uh, the name of the file, which is another website. So now when you list the contents of the directory, you can see there's a symbolic link 
named another website that links to dot dot slash sites available slash another website. So we're nearly done at this point. We have our configuration set up inside Nginx, but we still haven't created our directory structure for the website itself or the actual web pages either. So let's go ahead and go back to var www and create those inside of the directory that we specified in the configuration file. We'll create an index.html just like the other one because that's the home page that every website looks for. And we'll throw in some simple HTML and body tags and just one paragraph with the line my second site. Let's write quit and we'll restart engine X because we did make configuration changes. So sudo service engine X restart. And now if we go to our URL 192.168.199.128.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
simply by putting another hyperlink in and specifying the file name. We'll stop here for now. Uh, that was a pretty good overview of how to serve a couple of static websites using Nginx. The one thing we didn't cover really was how to decipher server name and the ports. Uh, in this example, we used uh, ports 80 and 8080 to separate out which websites we were going to go to. But we can also use server names for that, and that usually uses a domain name to be associated with it. So in this case, since I don't have a local domain set up within our little VMware environment, uh, it's easier for me just to use the ports on there instead of having to set up that service. One way to get around it is to have every server sit on a different port number, so like 80, 81, 82, you, I usually use something like 80, 8000, 8080, 80, something really non-specific, but it doesn't really matter which port you use as long as you're not blocking something else. So in another configuration, what we might want to try and do is have one Ubuntu server act as a gateway and uses Nginx to reverse proxy a uh, domain in from one entry point and pass it to this to individual ports on our web server and that's that'll really help us actually when we get to things like load balancing uh, and advanced configurations where we really do want to use the different ports on different servers but uh, we'll do that next time possibly or we might do a little bit more deeper dive into nginx